There are many ways to catch a fish, whether it's with your hands or with a pole, but one of the more rare ways is to use a bow and arrow. It's called bow fishing, and it's the latest edition of McKenzie's Outdoor Adventures. If you're on a boat with lights and see the fish, shoot the fish. It's a combination of hunting and fishing. It's basically fishing with an arrow and a bow. There's not a, a whole lot of people that do it, but the people that do get it, they get hooked pretty quick and it's starting to grow. Bow fishing is usually done in lakes or rivers at nighttime. To me, it's just like being in the daytime in the water. I mean, we've got lights that light it up like it's daytime. Willie McGee and Shane McDonald have been bow fishing for about five years and run a guide service together. I started to try to take veterans and uh, first responders out, and it kind of turned into a, a little business taking people out that don't get the chance to go. McDonald says he loves sharing his passion of the outdoors with others. Twist that off, and it flips up, and you take them off. I grew up in the outdoors, and some people didn't have that chance. So to me, it it's helped me along in my life. You know, just being out in nature and getting to see things that you don't get to see in the city every day. You know, and if those guys don't have the means to come out here and do it, then we're more than happy to bring them. You're allowed to bow fish for non-game fish only, like carp, flathead catfish, or alligator gar. While it's fun, McDonald says he also does it to help clean up the lake. We really help these lakes out by taking these, these fish out that are non-game. They really are detrimental to the habitat population for all these sport fish, you know, largemouth bass and stuff. They, they eat a lot of the grass and all their cover that they hide in, they feed off of, they lay their eggs in. The fish we were looking for were close to the bank, so we floated the shallow waters for a while and managed to get a few. Teamwork makes the dream work. Willie says his favorite part about bow fishing is the camaraderie between him and the people he goes with, and it keeps him busy during the off season for hunting. Hunting, you know, you just got a short season, so you got to find something to do to to take the part of, you know, from the summer. This is a great thing to do. You stay fresh with your bow and get to hang out with your buddies. Willie says it can be frustrating at times, especially for beginners like me. Haven't got anything yet. Okay. Working on it. But you know what they say. Practice makes perfect. Got one. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Mackenzie Burke.